Good morning, my name is Brandy, and I'm going to be doing a 30 minute Tabata style boot camp for you today. There's six sets, so there's 12 exercises. It's a traditional Tabata, so it's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds off. Uh, six sets, like I said, with a minute break in between each set. And I don't own any rights to music today or for this one, so I just have a Spotify account pulled up so I can listen to it. I can send you a playlist if you want it. You can listen to whatever music you know, floats your boat. Today's workout, you don't need any weights um, for the non-cardio part. Of course, you can always add weights in if you want a little extra resistance, but the um, weight portion of it is gonna be all, um, isometric. So hold movements, pulsing, time under tension, that sort of thing. So. Anybody can do this. There's lots of modifications and I'm going to be showing you all of those or you can take it up several notches and do a higher intensity. I'm going to be doing more of a mellow type of um, in-between type of Tabata to, or workouts for you today. So I have my timer going. Start my watch and you can be listening for the tones here. That will help you know when we need to change. So we're just going to start off with a jog. Okay, kind of get that body warmed up and loosened up. Add in some head rolls, some shoulder rolls. Okay. I like doing a boxer's bounce. So you can do it however you need. All right, let's take it forward. Make sure I'm not moving into anything. All right, so if you notice, if you've been following me, I'm moving a little gingerly today because yesterday I kind of strained my back. It's just the twists. Not yesterday, the day before. It's my lower back. So, I'm going to be showing a lot of modifications today. Okay, but it's important that you keep moving. Okay, you just have to know your own limits. All right, let's take it to a body squat. You're going to see some of these feet shoulder width apart. Just nice and easy. Okay. Nice and easy, okay? When you're doing these squats, make sure that your knees are pointing out over your toes. That weight is in those heels, okay? All right, let's take it to a side lunge. Again, that foot that is planted is straight. Your knees trucking out over your toe. Keep it that back flat. Notice my hands are on my thighs. It's to help support that lower back that's been a little sore. Okay, so here in 20 seconds, we're going to start. Okay, I'm going to show you your first two moves. First move is a wide football run. Okay, your feet are out wide, almost at a 45 degree. Okay, you can step it out or you can run it out. Okay, let's go. Okay, so my own version. Maybe you can pick it up and do a slightly higher knee. You don't have to touch your knees. Maybe you are just doing a fast feet, okay? But what I want is those feet are out wide. They're wider than your shoulder. And rest. There you go. Hop jumps, okay? One side, jump. Move over and jump, okay? It hurts to jump, just go up on your toes. Side, up on your toes. More pull out. I want to see those hops and I want to see some of that air movement, okay? Ten seconds, we're back to that wide football run, okay? So, remember, your feet are out wide, out at these 45, okay? If you are needing to take it down a notch like I have to, can you get down a little lower? Huh? Okay. Move those feet. Even though this is a little lower impact than what I normally do, it's that time under tension on those quads. Okay? You will still feel it. Okay? Your top jumps. Move side to side, lift up. Okay? can't do that or maybe you don't have enough room, just do a regular hop. Up and down. Up and down. Okay. I am up on my
my toes when I go up. Okay? You want to keep it here, you can keep it here. Okay. All right. We have two more times for each of those workouts, for each of those moves. White feet. Okay? White feet. Maybe you're down a little lower and you're moving those feet. Okay? Move. Okay? You don't have to go high. You can. Okay? But you squat. You're moving your feet. Rest. Alright? Those hop jumps. Show you another alternate that you can do, okay? Maybe you're squatting and you're bringing one knee up, okay? Yeah, you can do that. Only squat as far as you can, okay? Making sure you have good form, okay? It's almost like you're pushing off. All right, back to high knees, or not high knees, white feet, okay? Can we go a little faster? Throw off my throat. Yeah. Go a little faster. Okay. Can you keep up with that? That's how fast I want my feet to go. Okay. Come on. We can do it. In five, four, three, two. Alright. One more hop jump and then you get a 60 second break, okay? Have to step up. It's okay. All right. Mine. That's not allowing me to do a lot of higher impact. So, squatting. I'm moving. And you're resting. You have 60 seconds. Grab some water. Okay. These next moves are ISO moves. Time under tension. You can do them a couple of different ways. We have. No. Um, actually, they aren't. They're push ups and triceps. Push ups. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, you can do them on your knees. Totally fine. What you are going to do, what I want to see, start off here in tabletop. Your wrist, elbow, and shoulder should all be in one line, okay? From here, they should also just be underneath your shoulders. Lift your feet up, okay? Make sure your hands are up wide to do that regular push up and go down. Keep that head up, looking two to three feet in front of you, okay? You're here just for 20 seconds. You need to go down to your knees, that's all you need to do, okay? If you want to stay on your toes, and you can go down just a little. That's what you do. Okay? You were still working when you were doing it here. Okay? You can go down to child's pose in between tricep push-ups. Your hands are in right underneath your shoulders. You are going straight down and straight back up. Okay? Those elbows are scraping against your rib cage. Okay? They should be pointing. Okay, the movement should be one of these things, like you are trying to push somebody off of you. Okay, so if your arms are in tight and they're going straight. Okay, push-ups, they're out, like hold posts. Okay, they're out here, push-ups. Okay, you need to do them against a wall, do them against a wall. You need to have it elevated a little bit. If you have a bench, you can use a bench. You can do them up against a wall, I'm trying to see which wall will be better, okay? So, maybe you start here, okay? You can do that. Bring them in. You can do it this way, okay? If you're on that bench, do tricep dips, okay? Tricep push-ups. There's lots of different ways you can do that, okay? These are all body weight movements that you can do anywhere, anytime. Okay. You have five more seconds on these tricep push-ups. Three, two, one. All right. 
regular push-ups. Okay? So you do one on your toes. Okay? Remember, flat back, head is looking straight out. Okay? Just a couple of inches. Squeeze those quads. Okay? Squeeze your glutes together. That will help keep your back and everything in alignment. Okay? You need to drop down to your knees. Drop down to your knees. Okay? This is yours, not mine. Okay? Triceps. Okay? Tricep push-ups. You can do it. Okay? 20 seconds. Okay? Up and down. Okay? Can you do one on your knees, on your toes? Let's try doing one on our toes. Ready? Ah, you got it. One more. Okay. One more round of those. All right, we're getting ready to do those push-ups again. You got it. Come on. They're just 20 seconds of push-ups. We can do that. Okay. Notice I'm on my knees. My head is looking straight. Okay. You don't need to be looking down at your feet. They shouldn't be doing anything. Oh, one more. Come on. Tricep push-ups. We can do this. Okay? Remember to keep those elbows and your wrist, elbow, and shoulder in alignment. Okay? You need to look at yourself in a mirror. Film yourself. Put your phone on camera mode. Find a reflection. Okay? Make sure that's all in, a, in proper alignment. Okay? So if you start coming back here and it's at an angle, you're working different muscles. Okay? That's when you start to get injuries. All right. Your next moves are squat jumps and lunges. All right. So, your squat jumps. You saw them in the warm up. Feet wider than shoulder width apart. Go down as far as you can. Jump up. Okay. Can't jump? Go up on your toes. Okay? Your lunges are going to be reverse lunges because I find those to be a lot easier. Okay? Again, feet shoulder width apart, a little wider. When you go back, make sure you have a good wide stance, wide base. This front knee should be over this ankle and try to get this thigh parallel to the ground. Now, you can sit here and hold it, or you can come up and alternate. Your choice. Squat jumps, though. Okay? Squat, jump. Squat, jump. Squat, jump. Good. I'm going to grab some water while you guys finish out this first round. Okay? You can do it. Rest. Those lunges. Okay? Like I said, it's your choice, since you have four sets of them, okay? You can do an ISO, where you kind of pulse it out. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it right here in the quad that's bending towards the ground, and you're going to feel it in the quad that's holding steady, okay? If you want to add weights to this, add weights. That's fine. All right, shake it out. Roll your neck. Squat jumps. Okay? Feet, shoulder width, down and up. Okay? Only go down in that squat as far as you can. If you can only go part way, go part way. Okay? This, you can also bring up a knee. Okay? Good. All right, now, since I ISO this way, I'm going to hold it on the other side, at least for this round, okay? So here I'm pulse it out. This back knee, you just want it floating just a couple inches above the ground, okay? Whether you have your hands here on your thigh, out, praying that this is almost over, that's up to you, okay? Good. All right, two more rounds. Shake it out. All right, squat jumps. Again, do what you can. Squat. 
I'm gone. Maybe lift. Okay. When you bring that knee up, tighten your core. Okay? That's where that moment, I'll move. that movement is coming from. Three, two. Lunges. All right. You can do ISO, you can alternate. I think I'm going to alternate this one. Okay? When I'm here, but I'm staying low in my lunge, so when I come, it's almost like I'm in chair pose. Okay? And you just bring that leg back. You can use athletic arms. Okay? You can look down at your feet to make sure you can still see your toes. Okay? Keep that weight in those heels throughout this section. Squat jumps. Squat. Jump. Squat, jump, squat, jump. Good. Those are good squats, okay? Good squats. You can get down low to go high, okay? All right, last set of lunges. I'm gonna alternate again, okay? I'm gonna face you guys, all right? Ready? Okay. I want the weight in your heels. You should be able to wiggle those toes, okay? Because that will help force keep that knee over your ankles. 60 second break. All right, we're doing a little bit of ab work, okay? These are pike ups and like a plank spider lunge can't do the pike up because um, we're going to be down in a plank position. What I want you to do is do a standing pike. Okay? Do standing crunches for the pike up and then for the spider lunge do a slide standing. Okay? This is a side standing so you're standing on your side, you're bringing your elbow down to this knee and it's kind of pointed out. Okay? Same with the other side. Pike up, so you're just bringing your knee straight in. Okay, you're crunching that core. But this is what I want your pike ups to look like. Okay. Again, wrist, shoulder, elbow, shoulder, all in one line. We're gonna start. Okay. You can walk it in. Two. And walk it up. Three, four. Walk it in. Four, three, two, one. Three, two. Walk it back out. Okay. You want to hop it in, you can hop it in. Okay? Okay, that plank to elbow. Okay? So you're good here on plank. You're going to bring that knee to your elbow or as far as you can make it. Okay? Twisting that side. Okay? You're working those obliques. Okay? You need to take it down to child's pose. Take it into child's pose. Come back. Maybe you have to do this part on your on your knees. Okay, that's okay. Stand it up if you need to. Okay. Run, one round down. Three to go. Alright, those pike ups. Okay. Pike. Two, three, four. So notice I'm in a V and I'm going back down. And when I come back down to plank, I'm in good strong plank. Okay, you're looking straight down between your hands, okay, there you go, alright, stretch it out, stretch out the shoulders, alright, we're back up, okay, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, okay, it hurts more on, for me on that side, okay, so, you can't do that one. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Okay? I'll do this round standing for you guys. Okay? Same form. Okay? I want that tummy to be crunching in. So you are crunching in. Okay? As you're standing, bring this knee up, but you're using this abdominal. That lower abdominal. 
Okay. Breathe out. When you crunch in. Okay. Slide once. One more round after this, okay? So, whether you stay here, okay? When you have your hand out to counterbalance, you can do that. Okay? For whatever reason, this way is easier, okay? Takes that strain off that lower back. Good. Okay, one more round. You've got it, okay? Pikes. Or standing crunches, okay? Crunching in. Crunching in. Good. Okay? You can still have good. <gasps> my arms are still bent. Okay? I'm not arching my back. Straight. And I'm crunching. Okay? Alright. One more side. One more side. One more time. The other side for me, okay? <laughs> Staying all on one side, this one. Okay? If you want to alternate, you can alternate. Okay? Take that break. We need it in child's pose. Good. This leg that's standing, good, strong. Flex that quad. I'm feeling it in that glute. Rest. You have 60 seconds. Grab in my water. All right, this next one is a free jump forward with a jog back and X jumps. Yeah, I went there, I know. So, your free jumps forward, they can be one, two, three, jog back, okay? If you can, get down low. Go one, two, three, jog back. Okay, those X jumps. You're going to start feet shoulder width apart. You're going to come down, okay, and you're going to jump up into an X. Okay, I'll show you the modification. Three jumps forward. We go one, two, three, jog it back, okay. You can make those jumps wider, make those jumps longer. Okay, one, two, three. When you land, land toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Okay, that will help take that pressure off that lower back. It also helps stop that jar. X jumps. Okay, you need to take it down a notch, take it down a notch. Okay. You can do it with one leg. When you go up, squeeze that glute, okay? That is what you are doing. Squeezing that outer glute, okay? Almost makes me feel like I'm a cheerleader again. I'm gonna do those. Sprinkle fingers. Three jumps. Ready? You need to step it out. Step it out. Step it out. Jog back. Now step it out with the other foot. Okay? Maybe they're just baby hops. That's okay. Okay? Don't have a lot of room. Down, up, down, up. Okay? There's lots of options for you. Okay? Back to those X jumps. Let's try one. Okay? You gotta get down, and maybe you just go. Okay, at first. Okay. Maybe this is all you can do. Okay. <gasps> Still working. Okay. You can do it. You just aren't getting down as low. You aren't going as high. Okay? All good. Three jumps. Drop it back. Okay? You can do these, right? You go up to jump. 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 Jog it back, okay? Jump, add a dance move. Jump, add a dance move. Jump, add your dance move. Jog it back. Good, okay? 
make it your own. Maybe you have some good music going on. And you just kind of go with it, okay? X jumps. Ready? Yes. There you go. Sprinkle fingers. Sprinkle fingers. Right? You can still get a good workout when you're doing that. You can add a resistant loop when you do that around your thighs to get that outer thigh working. Okay? Three jumps. Jog back. Okay? One, two, three. Jog back. One, two, three. Jog back. You can do it. Okay? One more. Okay. Last time doing X jumps. We can do this. Okay. Can you give me baby X jumps? All right. My kid who loves Star Wars. He's four and a half. Calls these Death Star jumps. Okay. Or X swing jumps. Okay. See, you did that. All right, because your next ones, you might not necessarily like me so much. Okay, but it's our last round. Okay, tuck jumps, burpees. You knew they had to be in there somewhere, right? Okay, tuck jumps. Kind of like the jumps that we just did before. Okay, except for your legs are going to come up, okay? So you're going to go down, but your knees are going to come up, okay? Can't do that. Walk that up, okay? Burpees, they are what they are, okay? Make sure your hands go down first, then your feet, then your hands, oh, okay? Maybe you need to step out your burpee, okay? Get yours. These tuck jumps. I'm going to step it out. Okay. You can step it out. They can be lower. It's okay. If you are lower, I want you to kind of sink down into it as far as you can. Then bring your knees up. But still stay in that squatted position. Okay. Because you're working your quads. You're working that core. Okay. Burpees. Only 20 seconds. We can do it. Four times, but yeah. Ready? Down, back, and up. Down, back, and up. Okay. Maybe you have to do them standing. Okay? Because it hurts to get down. You can do that. I'm just taking one leg back, swinging my arm. Okay? Tuck jumps. Okay? Maybe you can do baby tuck jumps, okay? Maybe they're just little jumps, okay? Maybe you just need to jog it out, okay? It's okay because you're moving your body, right? Okay? Maybe you can add in a few of those, all right? There's something in here for everybody. Back to those burpees. Okay? Ready? You need to modify. Get down low. Swing that leg back. Okay? You were still getting a good workout. Okay? Maybe you just are doing it a little lower and you aren't coming up all the way. Okay? They're yours. Not mine. They're yours. Two more rounds. Okay? Baby tucks. We can do baby tucks. Okay? Sink down into it. Tuck. Okay? That's hurting too much. Stand your back up. It's okay. Alright? My knees. Okay? Make sure when you are coming up that you're keeping that core in tight. Burpees. I know. Can't get away from it, can you? Alright. Down. 
back, up, down, up, okay, maybe you stay down in that low crunch, okay, and you're just walking it out, hip length to burpee, okay, that's an option, so many options, baby tucks, okay, seconds and it's burpees. Okay? It's not that bad. Alright. Ready? I'm going to do frog burpees. Okay? So, you're down. Burpee. I'm back up. Okay? I'm staying down here because it's lower. It's actually easier on my back. Okay? Three, two, You guys made it, all right? We're on that cool down, okay? Shake it out, grab some water. We're gonna stretch it. You guys did awesome, okay? You may not think that low impact gives you a good workout, but what you don't realize is that often low impact means isometric, and you're really working those muscles. Sometimes it actually gives you a better workout, okay? Because it's time under tension. All right, let's stretch it out, okay? All right, standing with your feet wider than shoulders. Deep breath in and exhale. Another inhale and exhale it out. All right, one more. Inhale. From here, we're going to take it down, if you can, to the floor. I'm bringing my arms in. All right. Here you are getting that good hamstring stretch. Okay. I'm keeping my hands on my thighs just as extra balance. So like I said, I kind of tweaked my back a couple days ago. Okay, you can make it all the way down to the floor. Perfect. Okay, let's take it to one side. This also gives you ideas and knowledge that you don't have to have weights when you do boot camps. Take it to the other side. A lot of these you can do, which is body weights. We're gonna keep stretching even though the timer's gonna go off. You can use your own body weight in Mother Earth, okay? Isometrics, that those holds. I'm gonna roll it up. I'm gonna get those quads because you did a lot of quad work, okay? So you're gonna pull up on that ankle and feel that quad stretch. Ooh. Okay, I'm holding on to something because my balance is off today. Okay? And I'm, I'm fortunate enough I have decent home gym. Not everybody does. Okay? I have an array of weights, but I also have these guys right over here. Resistant loops. Okay? They're fairly inexpensive. And they're cheaper than weights. They're more affordable than weights. That sounds like there's a herd of elephants going on upstairs. But you can do a lot with these guys. Okay, you can do a lot of the same exercises. Put the loops around your arms, put them around your legs. Same with these um, bands with the hoops, or with the hoops, and with the handles, okay? Make sure you get a door attachment too if you need one. Um, it, you know, you, then you can do a lot more um, upper body strength training with those. So, as always, if you need to stretch it out a little more, stretch it out a little more. Let me know how you liked it. And until we can see each other in person again in the gym, 
take care of yourself, wash your hands, and remember, I love you guys.